Welcome to Medium Pro. I'm Xu Luyan. In this video, I will be talking about digital labor's role in communicative capitalism. This is structure of my content today. Communication plays an increasingly productive role in generating values that's forming the communicative capitalism where labor has been transformed into immaterial labor or cognitive labor. Let's move on to two examples of digital labor in communicative capitalism. Uber was founded in 2009. Its estimated revenue for 2015 was $10 billion. Airbnb was launched in 2008, and its global expansion has led to the company's value reaching $20 billion. Communication is no longer only a process of information flow, but can also produce practical values in reality. As Marantz has stated, workers are no longer using their whole external machinery, but their inner capacity such as creativity and their capacity for communication. As a result, time and space for work become flexible, and we do not have to sit in our office to work with our colleagues. However, precarious consequences like a state of exclusion, excessive control, and unpaid labor increasingly happen in workplace. Firstly, Workers may feel isolated due to the lack of the sense that being in the collective. Secondly, the transformation of information and labor also makes the call center heavily controlled by computers. Even toilet breaks are strictly controlled by activity at the computer which will affect the worker's performance assessment. In fact, the workers just repeat the same root phrases and even become the working machines which makes the cognitive labor not cognitive anymore. Thirdly, the form of immaterial labor leads to a crisis of measurement because the work cannot be measured simply through time or labor spent. Increasingly, working with mobile devices also makes it harder to measure workers' work because a 24-7 environment has a semblance of a social world. Workers' leisure time tends to be interrupted by texts or emails, which becomes more fragmented than before. Therefore, the problems of unpaid immaterial labor, including the unpaid internships, becomes quite serious in communicative capitalism. In addition, factories like Foxycon have witnessed shocking numbers of suicides in recent years. Suicide in workplace is a growing problem which does not merely happen in China. According to Biradi, loneliness and a lack of concern are simultaneously the cause of suicide in workplace. When we show our fetish to the flexibility that technology brings, do not ignore the precariousness it brings as well. That's all from me for now. If you enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe below, leave a comment and check out other videos. This has been me, Xu Luyan, for Media Po. Thanks for watching. Bye.